friends of the president, including Alice Johnson, who was, whose drug sentence was presidentially pardoned in August, those friends have been lobbying for the same brand of grace to be extended to Ross Ulbright. Ross was a smarty pants physics student who got his master's in science from Penn State, where he blessedly also picked up the Liberty Bug. In 2011, he created Silk Road to, quote, give people the freedom to make their own choices which then became a black market site where consensual adults could make off-the-grid transactions with Tor and Bitcoin. Albright took a small fee for every purchase, very capitalistic, and buyers only had to log in with a username, password, and the country they were in, and the site attracted thousands and thousands of eager and private users, and they happened to buy and sell a lot of illicit substances, things they could essentially get from CVS under a different name, but they're arbitrarily frowned upon. It was like an anonymous eBay if the E stood for ecstasy. Uh, he's charged with fraud, money laundering, and drug stuff, okay? Prosecutors also tried to tack on murder for hire charges based on chat logs, but the murders never took place. And sure enough, Albright was convicted, and instead of being sentenced to 10 years in prison, like the site's most voluminous drug dealer or another digital pusher who only got 17 months, Ross Albright was sentenced to two life sentences plus 40 years with no possibility for parole. Ain't that a kick in the nutlets? The murder for hire charges, well, they were dropped in 2018, yet the Supreme Court denied two appeals on his case, which would have scrutinized the Fourth and Sixth Amendment abuses that led to his lifelong shackling. With those avenues exhausted and the president's new penchant for criminal justice joy, now would be the perfect time to revisit Ross's injustices and set the man free. He has been imprisoned, beaten down by the system, and has forfeited his fortune to the feds, who sold his 144,000 bitcoins at auction for $48.2 million. He envisioned Silk Road as an avenue for peace, and only the president can help him make a U-turn on the road to redemption. Free Ross Albright, Mr. President.